Uh, so to start this video, um, for some reason, I think maybe just the really bad weather um, during the ride, the audio was not working, so you'll see my mouth talking, <laughs> but the sound just didn't record at all. So um, sorry for that. Um, but it, otherwise, you can really get a feel for the event anyway, so we, we would put up the content anyway. So um, just a summary is we went down to Peebles to start the tour of the borders. Um, it's quite local to us, but... 45 minute drive down, left at 5 o'clock in the morning to get there nice and early. Um, it's a really good route actually, really enjoyed it. Um, it's one that we've kind of wanted to do for a while. Uh, the weather was not the best, but saying that it was still kind of warm, um, but it was just really wet and a really a headwind most of the way around. There's a part in <laughs> where we're coming up to the Tala, which is a, one of the cl most iconic climbs in the route. It's quite challenging, it's quite steep. Um, and the wind was that strong, it felt like the rain was like hail across your face. Um, so you could barely, like I had glasses, but I just couldn't even wear them because I couldn't see anything. So um, this year, one of the things that I wanted to do, so my friend Lucy and I wanted to do a lot of sporties for us. So Adam, it's great riding with Adam and Adam's done in the past loads of sporties and events and stuff for himself and got little like medals for them and stuff for participating. And it was something that I kind of, now getting into cycling and I wanted to do it for myself so me and Lucy decided to sign up to like the Attack Caledonia we did that earlier in the year uh tour the borders ride the north things like that so just to accomplish something on our own um and I'm actually really fortunate to have met Lucy through the cycling club um and we, yeah we just strike a, like a really good friendship so we go out quite maybe three times a week together, um, even if it is just for a quick blast around, you know, a 30k loop. Um, but she's quickly become one of my closest friends. So this Tour of the Borders ride was really just dedicated to um, our friendship, but also all the other women out there on on bikes who ride. So when we did the attack, we were coming up one of the climbs and a woman was like, come on, girls! And then the same happened on this ride as well and um, just locals just seeing girls on bike were really supportive and encouraging so um i just hope that maybe somebody who's thinking about joining a club a woman or someone who's a little bit thinking about toying with the idea of getting on you know getting into cycling just do it it's so good and if you can find some women to ride with it just makes it even more special so um, yeah, this little video is dedicated to all the women who ride. Um, if you don't know, Rafa Women's 100 is, I think it's their 10th birthday this year. Um, on the 18th of September, there'll be, you can join it on Strava, um, a women's challenge. Um, again, it's just a celebration of women who ride. So um, get out on your bike, go for a ride with a little friend. It doesn't have to be the full 100 route. You can just want to organise a little... Uh, lap around the park or two with your friends on bikes then do it but just get out there and give it a go uh, we need to get more ladies out cycling it's great fun and it's a great way to socialize and meet new people as well so yeah enjoy the tour of the borders <laughs> 